Ahoy there mates and welcome to another Logitech wheel settings video where in this video we're going to be doing the wheel settings for Forza Horizon 5 here on Xbox One Stroke Series X and S. As always these settings have been fine tuned so they are good for drift, off road and road racing. You can even set some new personal best with these wheel settings if you want to. Granted you're going to need a good car and a good tune but the wheel will help. For the difficulty settings, I have steering set to simulation, shifting I've got set to manual, now you can use the H shifter if you want to, and for that you're going to need to set it to manual with clutch if you want to be able to use the clutch pedal when you're changing gear, or if you want to set your clutch pedal as the e-brake which a lot of players are doing nowadays. You can set it to manual and you will still be able to use the shifter. I've also got traction control and stability control off. Next in controls for change input mapping, press RB to go into wheel and I'm using default layout 1. One of the noticeable changes for this is this will put rewind on the X button and switch camera on the Y button. And if you're struggling to find out which button does what on your wheel, this is the best place to go and find out. For the advanced controls, I've got vibration set to on. You want to be able to feel all the vibrations in your wheel. Now for the rest of the settings, you can see a description on the right hand side and that will give you detailed info on what each setting does. So for steering axis dead zone inside, I've got that set at zero. Steering axis dead zone outside, I've got that set at 80. There's no wheel rotation angle, so I have this set at 80, so the steering looks a little bit more accurate in game. Steering linearity, I've got that set at 46. Acceleration axis dead zone inside, I've got that set at zero. Acceleration axis dead zone outside, I've got that set at 100. That way you've got full travel of the acceleration pedal. Deceleration axis dead zone inside, I've got that set at zero. And deceleration axis dead zone outside, I've got that set at 75. So I'm not having to put my brake all the way down because I think we all know the Logitech G920, the brake's a little bit iffy. Clutch axis dead zone inside, 15, just in case I rest my foot on the clutch. Clutch axis dead zone outside, 90, so you don't have to worry about pressing it all the way down to change gear. E brake axis dead zone inside, I have that set at zero because I use a button on the wheel. E brake axis dead zone Zone outside I've got that set at 100 once again because I use a button on the wheel vibration scale I've got that set at 0.6 force feedback scale I've got that set at 1 center spring scale 1.1 I've increased that slightly because I like to feel where the wheel wants to go wheel damper scale I've got that set at 1.0 mechanical trail scale something new in the game that sets the mechanical trail aligning torque something new and it is very good. I've got that set at 1.1. Force feedback minimum force, I've got that set at 1. Force feedback load sensitivity, I've got that set at 1. Road feel scale, I've got that set at 0.9. Off-road feel scale, I've got that set at 0.8. You feel everything. You feel the slightest little pebble and the slightest little mound of dirt. It's ridiculous. The game is beautiful and those are are the settings for the Logitech G920 here on Forza Horizon 5 on Xbox Series X. These will also work on Xbox One. Not only that, but these settings should work for the Logitech G923 and the Logitech G29, is it, for PlayStation that you can use on PC? If you are on PC, I highly recommend that you use the Logitech G Hub software and input as many of these settings as you can into the Logitech software and then tweak the settings in game to your own play style. The Logitech G Hub software is perfect for PC and the Logitech steering wheels. Whereas me on console, I have to go with the games settings. And to be fair to Playground Games, these settings are amazing. They are so much better than previous games. They're brilliant, honestly. And with all that said and done, it's time to share with you some gameplay of me using the Logitech G920. I hope you find these settings useful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then a like would be truly appreciated. And to stay up to date with my channel and more Forza Horizon 5 videos, hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell. I'm Steve Park. thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, play awesome.